And the Lord spoke something to me. And he said, living by faith gets the pressure off of you because I gave you something to live by. I'm going to work with this. I'm going to work with it. If, come here, Steve. If I give you, yeah, if I give you this money to live by, then it's not your ability you're trying to live by anymore. I gave him something to live by. So he doesn't have to try to figure out how to make it, how to get through this, how to come out of this. Why? Because I gave him ability. Or I gave him currency. Who said that's good? Romans, the first chapter, you can have your seat. I'll call you back up again. I got you. Every time, every time I use you to do an illustration, I got I to hook you up. Now, Romans, the first chapter, and I'm going to show you where we get frustrated. The just shall live by faith. Romans, the first chapter, verse number 17. Is this okay, class? For therein is the righteousness of God revealed how? For as it is, how shall the just live? So the just shall live by what? Faith. We're living by something. We're living by something. Get this. We're living by something called faith. We're living by something called faith. And I have it as a believer. Well, how do you know? Go to Romans, the 12th chapter. I'm living by faith. So that takes the pressure off of me. The real issue then becomes is I got to believe in challenge. I'm going to show you this tonight. Now, look at, look at uh, Romans, the 12th chapter, verse number 3. Is this okay? Verse number 3. Ready? Read. For I say through the grace given unto me to every man that is among you not to think of himself more highly than he ought to think but to think soberly according as God has dealt to every man what? Amen. So God has dealt to every man what? The measure of faith. So he's given us faith to live by. Amen. Not by your job. Amen. Not by what you make. Amen. He's given us faith to live by. Who am I talking to tonight? He's given us faith to live by. So that gets the pressure off of me. Why? Because I have currency. I have something to live by. I live by faith. Why? I'm the just. God gave me glory to God. He kind of made it easy for me. He gave me something to live by, and it's called faith. Say amen. amen. So God has dealt to every man the measure of faith. And then he's also given me some company along the journey. Go to 2 Corinthians, the fifth chapter, verse 7. He's given me this thing called faith to accompany me. <laughs> He's given me this thing called faith to accompany me. So no matter what I'm going through, I got faith to overcome it. I got faith to outlive it. I got faith to outlast it. I'm preaching. I got faith to go through it. Glory to God. I got faith to turn it around. I got faith to recover from it. Come on, say amen. amen. Now, watch this in 2 Corinthians, the fifth chapter, verse number seven. For we walk by. We're walking by somebody called faith. We're walking by this partner called faith. Glory to God. We don't have to be afraid or frightened by what we see. Why? Because the person that's accompanying me is called faith. My God, y'all better get that right now. So I'm walking. I'm not walking this out by myself. I don't have to do life alone. Amen. Why? I got this guy called faith. Amen. I'm walking by. Woo, glory. Somebody better shout tonight. Amen. So I'm walking by faith. I'm not by walking by sight. Sight is going to dictate some things to my senses. It's going to cause me to get nervous. It's going to cause me to freak out. It's going to cause me to say some dumb, stupid things. But I'm not walking by sight. I'm walking by faith. Come on, say amen up in here. 
I'm not walking by sight. I'm walking by faith. See it? For the just shall live. How? Come on, give God some praise right now. The just shall live this way. So, so I don't really have to fret. God has not given unto me the spirit of fear, but of power, love, and a sound mind. Greater is he that's in me than he that's in the world. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. I'm confident of this very thing. He who has begun a good work in me will perform it until the day of Jesus Christ. For it is God which worketh in me both to will and to do of his good pleasure. You are of God, little children, and have overcome them. Why? Greater is he that's in you. Whatsoever is born of God, overcometh the world. This is the victory that overcomes the world, even my faith. So I overcome my faith. Amen. Amen. Oh, shaka So, So the key then is to stay with faith. The key is to stay with faith. Look at somebody say, stay with faith. In other words, if faith brought me here, faith going to carry me the rest of the way. I just got to keep walking my faith and leave sight alone. I'm not talking to anybody here. I got to leave sight alone because sight going to have me going crazy. Especially when I release my faith for something and it seems like it's not going to happen. It seems like the more I pray, the more it's on delay. The objective of the enemy is to get you to give up. That's right. The objective of the enemy is to get you to keep seeing it and saying negative things. Because you will have what you say. Thou art snared with the words of the words of your mouth. If you think it's over, it's over. If you think you've lost, you've lost. If you think you're winners, you won. Why? Because we overcome by the word of our glory to God. What is your testimony? What is your testimony while you're in the battle? Can somebody shout up in here tonight? What is your testimony while you're going through? Where is your faith at when you're really going through something that seems insurmountable? It seems like it's too much for me. Where is your faith at? You can't leave faith or you'll give in to sight. Can I get three hallelujahs? Hallelujah. So, we walk by faith. We have this guy called Faith accompanying us. He accompanies me. Go to Hebrews 11 chapter. Ooh, what a great year you're going to have. We're going to work on unshakable faith in this house. As a matter of fact, that's the theme of our faith conference next year. Unshakable faith. My God, my God, I'm bringing the best teachers in the world, me. Amen. Y'all better get that one in the Holy Ghost. Glory to God. See, I know it. I'm going to feed you. I'm going to feed you nothing but faith. Ain't going to be nothing mixed with it. I ain't going to be God can do it, but no, God can do it. Amen. You just need to get butt out of the way. Hallelujah. Come on, give me three amens. Okay. Give me that last one. I need that. All right. Now, where we say we're going? It's Hebrews 11, chapter, verse number 6. You picked a good night to show up. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. 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 Now, but without faith. See it? Come here, Steve. Come here again. Uh, well, I'll let you finish doing your note first. You, you get it? But without faith. Watch this. Remember, now you're going to be faith. Without faith, I left faith. I don't walked away from faith. It's impossible without faith. Where's faith at, man? Remember Jesus said to his disciples, where's your faith? Without faith, I need to keep faith with me. Because without it, it's impossible. I'm over here, and I left faith back there. Who am I talking to up in this church tonight? When you start murmuring and complaining, you left faith. You start focusing on the outward, you left faith. You talking about you talking more about what you're going through versus what you're going to? You don't left faith. See, without this guy right here, I can't get through this. 
Without this guy right here, I can't overcome. Without this guy here, I won't be able to outlive this situation. Without this guy here, what I'm dealing with is going to be impossible. But with this guy here, all things are possible to him that believe. I just got to keep faith with me. Come on, somebody. Y'all better give God some praise in here. Put your hand together and say, yeah, but that would do ouch or something. That was weak. Clap them like you're excited. There you go. See? That, hey. Now, I'm going to show you, write this down, that faith and expectancy go hand in hand. There's no such thing as living faith without expectancy. Where do you get this from? Mark's gospel, the 11th chapter, verse 25. I say unto you what things soever you desire when you pray, believe that you what? Receive and you shall believe. That means believe that you receive because why? Why? I'm expecting. Faith and expectancy go hand in hand. You can't say you're in faith and we don't see no expectation. See, here's what the church is failing. And this is why I want to go back in and reteach faith for six months to this church. Here's where we're failing now. We think, I ain't got to do nothing. We think it's just a mere belief. We think we can say whatever we need to say and still expect the manifestation of a promise to come to pass. It don't work that way. Faith and expectancy go hand in hand. See, faith without works, what are some of the works of faith? What are some of the things that we see? We see expectation. I'm working my expectation. Expectation that cannot be killed will never be denied. Surely there is an end, and thine expectation shall not be cut off. Glory to God. So if I'm truly walking by faith, then you should see some expectancy in me. Amen. Am I teaching y'all? There should be some expectation when you believe in God for something. Because if there is no expectation, you're not really in faith. If there's no expectation, you're really not in faith. You're not expecting anything. Because to expect means to get into position to change your posture. My God. I went in the room sad. But when I started praying, I came out with a different look. Why? Because my expectation was on an all-time high. Y'all better give God some praise. So I cannot say I'm walking by faith and there's no display of expectation. Hallelujah. How many of y'all believe in God for something? Thank him that you have it right now. Now, if there was no heart Felt praise in that. You ain't got no faith in that. See, am I helping anybody tonight? Coming to church just to be coming, like Jacinto said, no expectation. You keep leaving the same way. No, I'm coming expecting to hear from God. I'm coming expecting, watch this, to get another piece to this puzzle. Because I'm dealing with some things. And I need to get all that I can get right now. And walk through the doors. Believe and watch this. Tonight, I'm going to get me a breakthrough. Not a breakthrough from God. Right. I just said something, y'all. Not get me a breakthrough from God. I'm the one that needs the breakthrough. I need the breakthrough in prayer. I need the breakthrough in praise. I need the breakthrough in my hearing. Because, because be, before there's a breakthrough in my receiving, there's got to be a breakthrough in my hearing. God's been talking to you for 20 minutes. Your mind been on your problem. You need a breakthrough. To watch this. To where the only thing you're now focusing on is what he's saying. Can I get an amen up here tonight? Amen. See, you need, look at the neighbor and say, neighbor, you need to break through, not God. So, hallelujah. So, 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 he says, Therefore, I say to you, what things soever you desire when you pray, you got to, that you, and you shall. That's expectation. <laughs> That's expectation. 
Glory to God. Somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Y'all, y'all know this man preaching right here, y'all. So the just shall live by faith. Hmm. So then living by faith gets the pressure off of me. Because to live by faith, here we go, means that I trust God. Go to Proverbs third chapter. There's faith night, isn't it? Say amen. Amen. Say amen. Amen. Say amen again. All right. Say amen one more time. Amen. Oh, God, I just like amen. That means so be it. You coming out of debt. Amen. Amen. That's right. So be it. You're the head, not the tail. Amen. See? See, at least you can say amen in this church because you know what it means. Right. Amen. amen. <laughs> we just be, they had the amen corner. You're all going to die tonight. <laughs> amen. No, amen on that. Because <laughs> we just say it, amen to everything. Because we didn't understand, oh, amen means so be it. Right. You're going down. I ain't saying amen to that. Now watch this. Where did I say go? Y'all good. Third chapter, verse number six, five and six. Ready? Let's read. Trust, 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 trust. Come here, Steve. Trust. He's the Lord. Boy, you've been a lot of things tonight, Faith. He's the Lord. He's the Lord. I got to do this again. Put your faith in this guy. Trust in him. Now, it becomes, once I put my faith in him, it becomes his responsibility to work this out for me. So now I rest. Oh, my God, I just said something. So now I rest. Why? Because I have placed my responsibilities in the hands of somebody that's greater than me. So living by faith, walking by faith now takes the pressure off of me. Why? Because it's not my care to carry anymore. The scripture says casting all your cares on the Lord to the Lord for he cared for you. You ain't trying to count my money. But anyway. Anyway. See, that's that, that's, that, that's that Spanish knot. You know what the Spanish knot is? Well, you got a big bill on top and you got ones. <laughs> I did somebody, I had a whole bunch of ones the other day. I walked to somebody. They said, oh, Shandala. I said, you don't want that one. That's a bunch of ones. <laughs> then they said, no, I want what's in that pocket. Right? That's how about Annette be. Annette be like, no, I want that pocket and the wallet. <laughs> oh, God. Shanda. So, trust in the Lord. Trust in the Lord. Watch this. Because faith means trust. Trust in the Lord. With, to give this is on my heart. Y'all know how y'all be sewing. Shoot, man. Then my, then my, then my something, something money. Then my egg money. Then my Easter egg money. Then my Christmas money. Then my, then my vacation money. Then my marriage money. Then my, then my, then my birthday money. Then my cake money. Then my, then my, then my. And God is like, if you trust me with this, I'll give you more back. Because the reason why you're having a challenge with giving money is become your master. And I need you to trust me the same way you trust this. Because this dictates where you can go, what you can do, how you can do it, when you can do it. And it really is not supposed to be. Because you live by faith. So you're living by what the world tells you you can afford because you have put trust in that system. And I need you to take the same trust, my shit, topo, I'm teaching, that you have established over there in me. Yes, it's going to be a walk. It's going to be a process. But as soon as you can get it, as soon as you can see it, that's at any time. You should be converted. I will heal you. 
So the moment you can get the concept of living by faith, you can see the dividends of living by faith. Come on, give him praise, man. Thank you very much. I got you, Doc. That three lunches. So, where we at? I'm not calling you up, Tyrone. Don't look at me. <laughs> when I said that's three lunches, Tyrone. I got next. No. Trust in the Lord with some of your heart. Circle all. Oh, you can't. You got your, uh, you got your computer. You can circle it. I want y'all, next year we coming with Bibles. Everybody getting a Bible. I'm going to give you everybody $100 that show up with their Bible the first Wednesday night in January, Jersey. <laughs> I'll fetch you, Jersey. No such. Right. Now, now, trust in the Lord with what? And lean not. Who am I helping tonight? Make a note. When reasoning is present, faith is absent. Write this down. When reasoning is present, faith is absent. It's absent. It is absent. Faith is absent. Why? Because you can't take reasoning into the arena of the supernatural. It can't cross over. It can't cross over. And when reasoning is present, it's because faith is absent. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not unto your, that's reasoning or intellect. See it? See it? Don't lean to your own understanding because you're going to start getting a headache. You're going to start getting confused. You're going to be trying to figure out something that God already worked out. You're going to start talking to the wrong people. They're going to sound just like you worried. See it? Because you'll begin to draw people to you the way that you are. And you'll begin to run into people the way that you are too. See it? Because that spirit knows that spirit. The spirit of a man knows it. The spirit of a man, the scripture says. See it? So you'll begin to run into people just like that. But you need faith building partners. That'll look you in the eye and say, trust God. He's going to work it out for you. Because if you don't stay in faith, you're going to get in something else. Hallelujah. Some of you almost got in something else today when you cussed. See? Now, lean not to your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him. He shall. See it? He shall what? Who is this helping tonight? He shall direct your path. Okay, I want you to write down a few more things. Whoo, y'all getting this tonight? So living by faith, I said it takes the pressure off of us. Why? Um, because I really am not using a, walk, a, walk, a walking or operating really in my own strength, my natural strength. I'm operating in the ability of God. And so if faith is currency or the currency of the kingdom, my God, this is good. Then I got spending money. See it? I got, I got, I got currency. I, 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 I can, I could, I could now use this currency to make exchanges for things that I desire. Are y'all getting this tonight? Why? Because I have the currency of the kingdom, which is faith. So, <laughs> instead of me, <laughs> instead of me looking around, watch this, trying to find money or a way I'm going to get through this financially, I should be saying, let me go and find my faith. Because it is my faith that will give substance to things. Go to the 11th chapter. <sighs> Y'all getting this tonight? Y'all getting this tonight? 
Believers ain't got no business staying home going through nothing. Amen. And I'm not picking on anybody, but you guys, when, you, when, you're, when your faith is being challenged, man, you got to know what to do. I'm going to teach you on that too. Pastor, what you do when your faith is weak? You keep coming to the house of the Lord, hearing word. Amen. Amen. Because somewhere along the line, you're not getting it if you want to quit. Somewhere along the line, you're not getting it if you want to give up. Somewhere along the line, faith is not anchored in you. See it? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Bible tells us to fight. Come on, class, fight. Y'all better. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, you better start talking up. The Bible says fight the good fight. There we go. Fight the good fight. 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 It didn't say take a break. It didn't say stop. He said fight the good fight of faith. So when you're in a fight, you got to fight. Or you're going to get a beat down. <laughs> See? But he says fight the good fight. Keep fighting. But now you're not fighting as one uncertain. Paul said it. You're fighting because you're going to win. You're really fighting to keep the faith. You're fighting to stay in faith. You're contending with the faith. You see it? You're fighting the good fight of faith. You're not fighting somebody. You're fighting to keep faith. You're fighting to stay in faith. You're fighting to keep your healing. You're fighting to keep prosperity. You're fighting to keep the wealth. Come on, somebody. You're not fighting for something you don't have. God, I can say You're not fighting for something you don't have. You're fighting for something you do have. You have healing. You have deliverance. You have peace. You have victory. You have prosperity. Come on, somebody. You have joy. You're fighting to keep what you have and let the devil know you ain't taking this from me. Somebody give God some praise up in here. So when we talk about fighting, we're not fighting to obtain something we're fighting because we have obtained something I'm walking by faith not by sight how do you know when a person is walking by faith not by sight you hear the word coming out of them because faith equals the word if you're going to live by faith you got to be living by the word because in the beginning was the word through faith, we understand that the worlds were framed by what? The word of God. It is my faith that will cause something to manifest. Thank you so much for watching today's broadcast. We pray that it's been a blessing to you and has helped you in overcoming your world. For more information about World Overcomers Ministries, give us a call at 843-746-9536 or log on to our website at www.womcc.com.